morning children today we are going to discuss regarding centripetal force and centrifugal force children you have already learned that a particle moving in a circular path continuously changes its direction of motion at each point of its path that's why if a body is moving with uniform or constant speed the speed remains uh, constant means uh, the magnitude remains same but as the direction of motion keeps changing in a circular path so the velocity is not constant this point we discussed before also so this change in direction of motion cannot be brought without a force a force is of course bringing this change in the direction of motion Thus, the motion in circular path is possible only under the influence of a force which is termed as the centripetal force. Its meaning is whenever a body moves in a circular path, uh, it keeps changing its direction and for changing that uh, direction, it needs a force. That force is known as centripetal force and it is always directed towards the center of the circular path. Its definition is here. Centripetal force is the force acting on a body moving in a circular path in a direction towards the center of circular path. So you need to learn this definition. Few examples are here. You need to go through these examples. You are aware of these um, topics. You already know. But behind this centripetal force is there that you may not know. Now let us go through. In an atom, an electron moves around the nucleus in a circular path for which the centripetal force is obtained from the electrostatic force of attraction on the negatively charged electron by the positively charged nucleus. You know nucleus exists at the center of an atom and around the nucleus several orbits are there in which electrons keep moving. As electrons uh, keep moving in a circular path, so they need uh, a force. Here this force is centripetal force and this force is provided due to the electrostatic force which is existing between the negatively charged electrons and positively charged nucleus. This point here to remember this is the example of centripetal force. Second one is here you know uh, all the planets move around the sun. So a planet moves around the sun in a circular path for which the gravitational force of attraction on the planet by sun provides the necessary centripetal force. So for moving planets around the sun, the centripetal force is also required which is provided by gravitational force move around the sun so a planet moves around the sun in a circular path for which the gravitational force of attraction on the planet by sun provides the necessary centripetal force so for moving planets around the sun the centripetal force is also required which is provided by gravitational force next the moon moves around the earth in a circular path for which the gravity here also gravitational force of attraction on the moon by the earth provides the necessary centripetal force Fourth example is when a stone tied at the end of a string is reeled in a circular path holding its other end in the hand. The tension in the string provides a centripetal force. One thing you will see everyone it may be the objective question also. 1, 2, 3, 4 these all 4 are the examples of centripetal force. If it is asked you can give any one. But the separate question is uh, in first case. What is providing the centripetal force? Electrostatic force between the nucleus and the electron. Second case, what is providing the centripetal force? Gravitational force of attraction. Third case, what is providing the centripetal force? Gravitational force of attraction. And fourth case, what is providing the centripetal force? The tension of the string. All these points you must remember. Next topic is centrifugal force. 
Listen, one point should come in our mind. When a body moves in a circular path, uh, force is exerted towards the center of the circular path, then that body must fall towards the center. Actually, in practice, uh, it is not happening at all. When electron revolves around the nucleus, electron doesn't fall in the nucleus. When a planet is revolved around the sun, planet doesn't fall um, in sun. So, in that case, uh, question comes, naturally there is another force which is acting outward, opposite to the direction of centripetal force. Here also that force is existing, that force is known as centrifugal force. Centrifugal force is in a direction opposite to the direction of centripetal force. Its magnitude is the same as that of the centripetal force. But the centripetal force is not the force of reaction of the centripetal force because action and reaction do not act on the same body. Regarding centrifugal force, you must remember, when a body moves in a circular path, centrifugal force also exists. Its direction is opposite to the direction of centripetal force. Magnitude is same as the magnitude of centripetal force. But there is not the actual existence of this force. We feel, we realize this force. It is not a real force. This may also be a question. Is centrifugal force a real force? Answer is no. Centrifugal force is not a real force. Why? In that case, you have to write. Because the force of reaction, force of, um, but the centrifugal force is not the force of reaction of the centripetal force. Because action and reaction do not act on the same body. When action and reaction do not act, act on the same body, it is not a real force. It is also called pseudo force. Remember, if it comes why it is not real force, you have to say this. But, but uh, the magnitude of it, if we want to find out, it is same as the centripetal force and its formula is mv square by r. m is the mass of the body which is moving, v is the velocity with which it is moving and r is the radius of the circular path in which it is moving. So, centripetal force formula is mv square by r. So, both these topics you must revise, go through these examples. And this experiment, one experiment is there, all of you. You must go through this experiment. So, in this chapter, this was the last topic, centripetal force and centrifugal force. Today we have discussed. Next class, I will discuss regarding the numericals. I will show you how the numericals can be solved uh, based on the principle of moments. Thank you. Centrifugal force is not the force of reaction of the centripetal force because action and reaction do not act on the same body. When action and reaction do not act, act on the same body, it is not a real force. It is also called pseudo force. Remember, if it comes why it is not real force, you have to say this. But, but uh, the magnitude of it if we want to find out, it is same as the centripetal force and its formula is mv square by r. m is the mass of the body which is moving, v is the velocity with which it is moving and r is the radius of the circular path in which it is moving. So, centripetal force formula is mv square by r. So, both these topics you must revise, go through these examples. And this experiment, one experiment is there, all of you, you must go through this experiment. So, in this chapter, this was the last topic, centripetal force and centrifugal force, today we have discussed. Next class, I will discuss regarding the numericals. I will show you how the numericals can be solved uh, based on the principle of moments. Thank you.